Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Lemon Aronian and obviously so. This is a game from Sinkfield Cup, played in St. Louis, United States in 2017. Lemon Aronian had white pieces and he started with d4. Wesley Su played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, queen's gambit, declined. Knight to c3, bishop to b4, the Ragos in defense. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight, and now h6, white move. Level Aronian played bishop takes on f6, bishop to h4, then black may play g5, and after bishop to g3, knight to e4. So we have bishop takes on f6, queen takes on f6, queen to a4, check, knight to c6, e3, and Wesley so cast at kingside, bishop to e2, d takes on c4, Lemon Aronian cast at kingside 2, bishop takes on c3, bishop to d7 is the most played move, bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, bishop to d7, queen takes on c4, rook from a to c8, intending c5, of course, after moving the knight first. Rook from a to d1, rook from f to d8, white move. Levon Aronian played knight to d2, intending knight to e4, and also he wants to push the f-pawn. Knight to a5, attacking the queen, intending c5. Queen to b4, b6, and now very clever move. Bishop to a6, attacking the rook and forcing the rook to go on the c-file. Rook to b8, knight to e4, attacking the queen, queen to f5, bishop to d3, threatening some kind of discovered attack. Bishop to c6, threatening to win the knight. f3, bishop takes on e4. White move. How would you recapture? With a pawn? Or with the bishop. Hmm? Lemon Aronian recaptured with the pawn, opening the f file for his rooks. Queen to g5, attacking the pawn on e3, rook to f3, and now c5. This is the move that black wanted to play long time ago, even yesterday. Queen to b2 e5, and now rook from d to f1, threatening rook takes pawn on f7. How to defend the pawn? Wesley so played c takes on d4. c takes on d4. If rook takes on f7, what's wrong with this move? Then queen takes on e3 check, winning the bishop. So we have c takes on d4, rook to b7. Well, pawn takes pawn is good for white after he takes on d4. White is better. After rook to b7, d5. Dangerous pass pawn. Get back to our game. Rook to b7, d5, rook to c7. Just a note, black knight on a5 is wearing a t-shirt, you can't see it, it is on his back. It says this, demon knight, white move, h4, the deflection tactic, queen takes on h4, even if black doesn't take, he loses the pawn on e5 after rook to f5, queen takes on h4, queen takes on e5. So we have queen takes on h4, queen takes on e5, attacking the rook on c7. This is the critical position of the game, black to move. What is the best move for black? Wesley so goes wrong by playing queen to e7. Believe it or not, rook to e7 would be much better move. Back to our game. Queen to e7, hoping to exchange queens. 
If queen takes queen, rook takes on e7, and black is okay. Black knight is coming to b7 and then to d6, perhaps. Back to our game. Queen to e7, queen to g3, not exchanging queens. Queen to c5, white to move. What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. Levon Aronian played rook to f6. This is the winning move. Threatening. Rook takes pawn on h6. h5. Is g6 a better move? It's not. One line goes like this. This is just one line. e5. Queen takes on d5. e6. Rook to e7. Pawn takes, pawn, check, rook takes on f7, rook takes on g6, check, king to f8, rook to g8, check, king to e7, rook takes on f7, check, king takes on f7, queen to g6, check, king to e7, rook to g7, check, and what now? After queen to f7, rook takes queen, check, king to e8, queen to g8, checkmate. Ok, back to our game h5 was played. And now, rook to h6, chasing the poor scared pawn. Queen to c3, attacking the bishop. How to save the bishop? What would you do? Levon Aronian played rook to h5, g6, if queen takes on d3. What's wrong with that move? Then, queen takes rook on c7. So we have g6, white move. Believe it or not, white played a move and black resigned. The move is e5. Wesley so resigned. Why did he resign? Ok, let's play a few more moves. Let's say queen takes bishop on d3, which looks like an obvious move. Then, from this position, White has more than one way to win. How would you continue? What would be your way to win from this position? Hmm? One way is queen to h4, threatening rook to h8, check, and then queen to h6, checkmate. If pawn takes rook, queen takes rook on d8, check, king to g7, queen takes on c7. That is one way to win. And there is another one. It is rook to h3, intending queen to h4. One line goes like this. Rook takes on d5. Queen to h4, threatening queen to h8, checkmate. f5, making room for black king to escape. Queen to h8, check. King to f7. Rook to h7, check. King to e6, and there is checkmate in one. Queen to f6, checkmate. And let's go back to this critical position of the game. This is the position. It is hard to believe that only a few moves later from this position, black will lose the game. Queen to e7 was played. Missing the best defense, rook to e7. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.